The other day I uploaded a video about my favorite Mac apps and one of the apps I talked about was the Arc browser. There is so much hype around Arc within the tech community, at least I think. And I just wanted to talk about what all the hype is all about. It really reminds me of the early days of Notion. So Arc is a internet browser, like I mentioned, and everyone is saying it's like Chrome, but better. It's built on top of Chromium, so the core technologies are the same as Chrome, but there are so many custom designs and custom features that are built on top of it that makes it really feel like a fresh new app. And there are a lot of cool features on Arc, and I wanted to talk about it one by one, and I wanna start by talking about spaces and profiles. Before we jump into the screen, hi, my name is Yuka, and I make videos for the everyday creator. The spaces feature on Arc can help you separate different areas of your digital life. You can use spaces for different things depending on your needs. For example, I have spaces for my English YouTube, my Japanese YouTube, my Notion template business, and studying Korean. You can swipe or scroll horizontally to quickly move between them. And to create a new space, you can click on the plus sign here and create a new space or drag to the right to create a new space. And once you make a new space, you can customize it by renaming it. Let's call this Paris trip. So I can start planning for my Paris trip and I can change the icon. So let's change this to a France emoji. And you can even change the theme here. So you can have different colors and even move these around to get the perfect vibe. So once you've done that, you can start using your spaces. Let's say I need to book an Airbnb and look at Paris recommendations so I can find things to do. And like that, I can just create a bunch of tabs here. So if you go to the settings, you can change how long after your tabs archive. So I have it set to 24 hours. If I don't touch these tabs for 24 hours, it will auto archive. That keeps my browser really clean and decluttered. If I don't want things to auto archive, I can move this up top here. It's kind of like a bookmark, so I can keep this here and not open it for a long time and it won't auto archive. By keeping things separate and keeping spaces really clean and focused on what you're trying to do, this really helps my mind be decluttered as well. Now onto profiles. Profiles let you further separate your spaces by keeping accounts, cookies, and search history completely isolated from each other. So for example, I have Google Photos opened on this profile, and I, you can see that I am logged in with this pink icon, and if I move over to this other profile, I'm logged in with another one, and now you can see it's a completely different account and I have no photos. Profiles allow you to be logged into the same website with different accounts, which is really helpful for separating your work and personal and other stuff like that. Let's say I want to create a new profile for my personal things and I'm planning my personal Paris trip. So let's say I want to create a new profile for this space. Notice that I am logged in to my Airbnb account here. I'll create a new profile by right clicking here, going to profile and create new profile. I'll call this personal and add this Paris trip to this profile. And now you will see that I am logged out of my Airbnb account because it's completely isolated from the other profiles that I was using. And so I can start building search history and logging in with other accounts if I wanted to right on this profile. Also, if you go to the settings, you can further customize it even more. So I can even change the default search engine from Google to whatever. I can have it separate from my other profiles that I'm using. So if I wanna use Google on this profile and Yahoo in this profile, I can do that as well. And you can even change the download location folder. So if you want to keep your downloads for your work and personal stuff separate, that's a great idea as well. Spaces and profiles are really powerful if you use it for different areas of your digital and work life. It might take you a little bit to set up and get used to, but it's so useful when you get the hang of it. 
I have some more ARC videos coming up, so make sure you're subscribed for more tech and creativity content, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! I'm having a time of my life Everything's going alright Ooh, I just made them look twice This is how it feels when you're living that good, good life I'm just living that good